And now the other one I told you about using the teal, which is a little bit more tricky. But let's look at it. We use the word till to say how many minutes till the next whole hour. For example here, the minute hand is just five minutes till the next whole hour, which is seven hours, okay? So this time is five till seven, five minutes till seven hours, okay? So let me write it here. Now, the usual way of saying this that you already know is actually a bit more difficult. Because for that, if you remember, we were looking at the hour hand and we figured that it's not yet 7 o'clock, so it is still 6 hours something. And then we count it by fives, remembering here's 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. This was 6.55. And it is also 5 minutes till 7. So these two look really different from each other, right? Let's look at here. We will figure out how many minutes till the next whole hour. How many minutes does the minute hand need to move to get all the way up here to the next whole hour? Which the next whole hour, when it is up here, then you will have exactly 5 o'clock. But how many minutes till 5 o'clock? You can, for example, count by fives backwards from here, like this. 5, 10, and 15, and figure out it's 15 minutes till 5. Let me write it here. And now, the other way of saying the same time was that we say hours and then minutes. Okay? And for that, it's not yet 5 o'clock, so it's still 4 hours. And the minutes, counting by fives, 30, 35, 40, 45. Here's the minute hand. How many minutes till the next whole hour? And what is the next whole hour? Okay, the minute hand needs to move two steps, so to speak. So that makes 10 minutes, because you count by fives, okay? Five and 10. Or you can count from here. Five and 10, either way. So 10 minutes till, but what is the next whole hour? The hour hand is almost coming to one, so it is one. 10 till 1. And the other way of saying it, since it's not yet 1 o'clock, we will have to say it is 12 hours and so many minutes. Okay, 12. And counting by fives, if here's 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, and 50. 12, 50. Over here, minute hand is here. How many minutes till the next whole hour? Okay, we count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes till... Till what hour? The hour hand is gonna be at 1, so 20 minutes till 1. And then, the other way, again, it is not yet 1 o'clock, it is just 12 hours. And then 30, 35, 40, 40 minutes. The last one is a little bit of a challenge because we don't have the numbers on the clock face, okay? Can you figure out what time it is? This is the hour hand, this is the minute hand. Notice the minute hand has just one step to go till the next whole hour. So it is just, it's not one minute till something, it is five minutes till because one step here means five minutes. It is five minutes till the next whole hour. What is the next whole hour? The hour hand is gonna be at seven. And the other way of saying it, since it's not yet seven hours, it is still six hours something. And if you remember over here, will be 55 minutes. Matty has a challenge for you, just wait a second. What time is it if it is 55 minutes till 3? Oh, that's kind of weird. What time is it? Well, it's 55 minutes till 3, Matthew. Well, actually, there's another way of saying that. What's the usual way of saving such a funny time? 55 minutes till 3. You know this whole clock face is 60 minutes, right? 
So if I was here, if my minute hand was here, it would have 60 minutes to go till the next whole hour. So when it goes here, then here it has 55 minutes to go till the next whole hour. So the minute hand is here. So that is five past. This is actually five past two. Did you get the same? Hope so. We are done with this lesson.